G'day YouTube. So we're at the tantrum track today and the winter storms has uh, made a mess of the track. So anything brown, the leaf foliage on the side is uh, all dead for. So it's been snapped out of the top of the trees. So first bit of single track, a little bit open here. And um, there's a little branch on the track there that slows up me, slows me up a little. So you've got quite good flow on this and um, eventually it spills out into a double track. So I'm trying to um, use a little bit lower gear and um, trying to use uh, greater revs in the corners and hopefully dump the clutch and get a bit of drive. Uh, this is the only little jump on the track. A little bit of air there. Now we come back to a double track here. This little bump kicks me in the bum so I need to uh, change um, the way I ride that. I bogged it down in that uh, corner and um, the deadfall sort of made this double track um, a little bit serpentine like. Um, so I try to get good drive, a little bit of a climb here. Got a tight corner, there's a little bit of tree root there I miss over the log. A little bit um, uh, rear wheel weighted on that. Now I've got uh, moose's front and rear and the mooses are failing so the rear moose is dead. Um, I don't have a spare rear moose at the moment so I've um, got one on order and it should turn up Monday so hopefully um, I'll get that fitted. It's changing the way the bike acts. The front's very soft too, that's gone as well. I've got a front one in the shed but I was going to wait until I get both of them. Now I'm trying to stay on the outside of this section to try to rail it. Um, getting whipped a lot with all the undergrowth. Uh, you can see there's the, um, all the deadfall here again. Now I spent a um, couple of days uh, trying to clear this to, to be able to just ride it at the moment so I've got it sort of cleared enough to ride it. Um, every time we get a storm, log will fall on the track and it'll either make me go round that section or make a log to go over it. Um, now I'm going to ride uh, sort of out along the track and then back today. So this little log is a little tricky on the way up because it's uphill on a 90 degree corner as, uh, as well as it's a reasonable size log about 8 or 10 inches in diameter. I bogged the bike down a bit there as well. Uh, tree roots there, it's a little bit tough section. Uh, I actually stalled and ran off the front of the bike then. A bit disappointed in myself. A bit heavy on the rear brake I suspect. Um, up and going. Parking speed accident really. Um, the deadfall here blocked this section of track so this is quite hard to get up and over the rut. I bog it down there again. Um, managed to keep it going. There's a bit of deadfall in the ferns here that I go over. That's quite old and rotten, so that'll break up reasonably quickly. Uh, we're coming up to a pile of logs. So my friends that find it hard to ride have put piles uh, sticks in front of it. Um, these two. That corner is quite ticky, uh, tricky because it's tight on the exit. And it's hard to get over the log with enough speed and momentum to not um, force you into the debris on the side. We've got quite a big tree down coming up here. Um, so it forces us to go round this little section again. So again, as it um, rots out, so it'll, we'll be able to use the track again. Uh, come down a nice little gully here, this nice section. It's reasonably fast tight corner. Uh, track used to go a different direction here but we've um, changed the alignment a little bit because of uh, another deadfall. Now I bog it down badly there so I tried to um, load up the motor and um, get some drive out of it but it failed completely. Now again another deadfall to uh, ride this log going up and then I go around it going back it doesn't have a, quite a good line coming on the return leg. More deadfall. Yeah. 
it's everywhere at the moment. Now I try to load up the throttle here to get good drive, but I don't, I'm not successful again. Here, not so bad. I get a reasonable amount of drive through that corner. Now something that I do a lot is stand, so I'm standing continuously. I've got the balls of my foot on the left foot, and then I try to go back to the balls of my feet on the right, but I move back and forth to get to the rear brake. Uh, a little bit tight, another tree. We cleared this section as well. Excuse me, just yawning. Uh, zigzag around another big tree. Again, um, get a lot of, uh, you know, the track changes a lot because of the, the bush changes as it uh, comes and goes. Uh, horses have dug up this ground and made it wet there, so I try to have a bit of drive through there. Again, yeah, as you guessed it, more deadfalls change that corner. I bog it down there again, it's quite wet here, it's slippery. Um, get reasonable drive through here. Uh, there's sort of a little nest section turn, but that tree mucks it up a bit. I bog the bike again. Sort of a little bit, a uh, little bit sort of story of the day. I missed that corner and um, went straight for the, for the, uh, the deadfall. Now I bogged this again as well, you know, so uh, I didn't ride much in winter this year. Delta's um, made it a bit challenging to do a lot of things in Australia at the moment. Uh, come down, it's a little bit wet down the bottom here and hard to stop and there's a, a new um, Angophora, so it's a form of tree. It's similar to the eucalypts but just enough different. So it is its own species. Very slippery, very smooth bark. I managed to crash there a couple of times today. Uh, this is the mount that's been cleared at the moment. So I turn around here and we go back up. Bit of a full start there. Go again across the Angophora. Didn't get far. Very slippery. Didn't get I rode it far. three other times today, clean. Huh? This one didn't. You get that. Yeah. 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 So I'm just telling my friend what the reason why I was on the ground for. Um, again, I load the bike up. Don't get a successful start, but we're off and going again. Now, I've... Um, been a few races over the years with um, some of the very best in the world, so Daniel Sanders. I watched him race in um, one of the rounds in uh, Victoria a while back. And um, they all use a lot of engine revs for corners like this and then dump the clutch, give them very good drive. Now I'm trying to emulate that and I haven't quite got it yet, but I'll get there eventually. So we're climbing back up through. It's reasonably clear at this stage, the track, so we've cleared a lot of it. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning again. A little bit wet patch here, so um, again, another big tree down, or a, a crown out of the top of a tree, more so. Uh, through a little soft patch, and back on. So I'm trying to get some revs to get some drive out of these corners but um, not super successful big log down around that make my way around it so now we've got um, sort of second and third gear you know um, start to increase some speed in third uh, so this is about a 10 inch log that's reasonably new on this track uh, again these sort of you know 60 to 80 degree corners I'm trying to build up um, a lot of uh, speed in the motor, same as this one, like sort of comes back on itself. I get that reasonably clearly clean. I get this reasonably clean. Um, I don't do a very good job here. Uh, come down to our little log on the on the uphill. I go round it and the down. It's a little bit easy cheating it a little bit. So I miss my line. Oh, nearly miss my line there. 
come down, it's got another blockage, so we've got to go around it. And I like this little section, we've got sort of a little climb here, 90 degree corner, and a bigger climb here, we go up sort of into a little clearing. And again we've got another big tree down here which sort of mucks up the, um, the entry to the little section here, so we've got to make another little double offset in it. I bogged the bike badly there, just get it going again. Uh, we've 90 degree corner around a tree, very tight, slow. I get reasonable drive through that as well. A little bit more sort of stuff on the ground here before we go over. Now this is a bit tricky because we've got a corner. I managed to get over that clean. I crashed on there once today and um, cleaned it four times as well. So we come up another section that's changed a little bit because of um, deadfall as well. But it's nice to have, be out back right to be back riding again. Uh, we've got a little switchback sort of section of climb here, so a couple of little switchbacks. Traverse through a little gully and then another steeper set of switchbacks. The uh, name for this track is the Tantrum Track because the first few people I brought on it um, said get me the fuck out of here as quick as you can and plenty of people have thrown tantrums on it. It's not amazingly hard but hard enough that um, that it's, it's consistent enough that it's just hard work and, and wears people out. Uh, that's why they um, get disappointed in it. And everything in this track was, was sort of um, in the track because it was difficult, you know, whether it's the switchback climbs or the logs that um, initially were, were um, you know, 